Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, ang focus naman natin is for the MMC 2019 Division Finals of Grade 10. So, I have here some questions from the easier round, which can be solved in 50 second, 15 seconds. So, dito, mental, karam, karamihan mentally yung ginagawa nila sa round nito kasi hindi allowed yung pagsusulat sa hangin or sa scratch paper man lang. So let's get started with our different questions for the easy round. We have here, find the solution set of the inequality x times x plus 1 less than 0. So first thing you're going to do is first simplify the expression. You will have x squared plus x is less than x. Now, transpose natin sa bilato, you will get x squared plus x minus x is less than 0. So ngayon, pag sinimplify nyo to, you will get x squared is less than 0. Ngayon, how will you represent the you know, the solution set of this one? Ngayon, kung mapansin nyo, we have x squared less than 0. So, it seems impossible na magkaroon tayo ng number na pag nerase natin, though it, it is negative or positive, na magiging less than 0. Therefore, Ang sagot natin dito is a null set. Null set. No solution set. Or no solution for this kind of inequality. Let's go with item number 2. For item number 2, a circle centered at the origin passes through the points negative 2, 3 and 3, 3, k. Ang tanong dito, what is k? So, first thing na kailangan nyo matandaan dito, or malaman, is that the center of the circle is at the origin. Meaning, nakalink dyan yung equation natin for the circle, which is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So, next natin gagawin dito ay ano pa ba? Meron tayo ditong negative 2, comma 3 Pwede natin gamitin to find the radius of the circle. So, we have 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Ito yung location ng point na negative 2, comma 3. So, gagamitin natin yan to find the radius gamit ang distance formula. Yung r natin. So, ang formula natin, gawin natin r is equal to the square root of negative 2 minus 0 raised to 2 plus 3 minus 0 raised to 2 r is equal to the square root of negative 2 squared plus 3 squared so radius natin we have square root of 4 plus 9 r is equal to the square root of 13 ngayon balikan natin yung formula natin we have this formula or equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Meron na kasi tayong r. So, ang kulang na natin ay yung x and y. Remember, meron tayong another coordinate na 3 comma k. Which is, pwede natin palit. This is your x and this is your y. So, you will have 3 squared plus k squared is equal to your r, which is square root of 13 raised to 2. Simplify lang natin. You will have 9 plus k squared is equal to cancelled out 13. We have here k squared is equal to 13 minus 9. So, pag simplify natin to, we will have k squared is equal to 4 and get the square root of both sides of the equation. Your k is simply positive negative that is the answer for item number 2 in the easy round of grade 10. 
MTAP Division Finals. Now for the third question, we have here, the fourth and the tenth terms of an arithmetic sequence are 48 and 68. What is the first term? So ang gagawin natin dito, una, hanapin muna natin yung kanilang common difference. So mahanap natin yon by using the formula d is equal to a sub 10 minus a sub 4 over 6. Para mahanap natin yung ating ano, common difference. So we have here d is equal to 68 minus 48 all over 6. So d is equal to 20, right? over 6 and simplifying this one you will have 10 over 3. Ngayon, meron tayong common difference. Pwede naman natin manumanuhin yung pagkuha ng first term. Kaso nga lang, remember this one is under the easy round 15 seconds lang. So para mahanap yung first term natin we will be using a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus 3d. Bakit 3d yung ginamit ko? Kasi uh, yung layo niya Ay yung ating n ay 4. 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Kasi di ba ang formula natin ay a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus... Ito. a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. E4 yung n natin. So, magiging ganito yan. So, ang fourth term natin is 48. Ang ating a sub 1 ang nawawala. So, i-manipulate lang natin to Plus 3 times... 10 over 3. You can cancel out this one. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng 48 is equal to a sub 1 plus 10. Transpose natin sa kabila. So, obviously, the first term is equal to 38. That is the answer for item number 3. Let's proceed with item number 4. Kati yung napakadali. Sabi dito, if negative 1 is a root of the equation, 2x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed is equal to 3x squared plus kx plus 2. What is k? Sabi dyan, one of the roots is negative 1, meaning we can assign as x as negative 1. So pag in-evaluate nyo yan, you will have 2 times negative 1 raised to 4 plus 2 times negative 1 raised to 3 is equal to 3 times negative 1 squared plus k times negative 1 plus 2. Since yung kanyang exponent ay even, you will get positive. So this is 2 times 1 which is 2. Eh ang kanyang exponent ay odd, meaning negative 2. We have negative 2 is equal to an even exponent. So 3 times 1 uli yan, so we have 3 minus k plus 2. So magiging 0 na to. On the right side, meron tayong negative k plus 5. Transpose natin to, your k is equal to 5. This is the answer for item number 4. The value of k is simply 5. Now, or for last question, sabi dito, a 3 centimeter cord is 3 centimeters away from the center of the circle. What is the exact area of the circle? So, punta mo na natin. I have here a circle. Doi mo na natin para mas ma-visualize niyo yung aking explanation. Yung center niya ay nandito. And then, meron daw cord na 3 centimeters. Doi nun tayo. Ito, medyo pangit yung drawing ko. Straight line tayo. Yan. This is a 3 centimeter cord. And nasabi doon, another clue, that the cord is 3 centimeters away from the center meaning we can draw a line from the center to the cord which is equal to 3 centimeters ngayon area ang pinapahanap so kung pupuntahan niyo yung area natin the formula is simply a is equal to pi r squared so we need to find the value of the radius para maharap natin yung totally yung ating area so ang gagawin natin dito is we can do a right triangle at para mahanap natin yung radius as the hypotenuse of that right triangle. So, paano ngayon yan? Itong side na to, or leg na to, measured 3 centimeters. And ito, since ito ay isang haba, 
we can divide it by 2. Meaning, this leg measures 3 over 2. So ngayon, meron tayo, able na tayong mahanap yung radius natin using the formula r squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. You r natin, ito yung nating hypotenuse at radius. So we have here r squared is equal to 3 squared plus 3 over 2 squared. So ang r squared natin ngayon ay, sorry, 9 plus 9 over 4. Tama? So, ang R squared natin is simply 36 over 4 plus 9 over 4. So, our R squared is simply 45 over 4. In this part, hindi nyo na kailangang i-extract pa yung value ng R. Bakit? As you can see, yung R squared natin ay kailangan natin for the formula of area. So, ang gagawin natin dito ngayon, ito tayo centimeter squared. So, we have here area is equal to 45 over 4 pi centimeter squared. This is the area of the circle given in item number 5. So, we're done with this video. Kung meron kayo mga questions or gustong topic na ipadiscuss sa akin through our, through our video or our channel, you can comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, I am Teacher God. Thank you.